Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have a really quick Canva tutorial. So, what is it? I'm going to show you how to add gradient in your background. Now, I have been adding gradient in my background for a long time now, but the way I used to do it is very tedious. So, let me show you how I used to do it. I used to create a design first, and then I would go to Elements, I would search for gradients, and then I will click this, look for something that I would want, for example, this one. And as you can see, it's a square-shaped element, and I have a design that is a rectangle. So I would have to go and change it to, you know, the proper size, like so. And then I could go and change colors. Um, and then I'm only limited to having two colors and maybe it's something that I want, maybe not. Basically, it's just not very, it's just not very good. But now you can have a robust gradient using the gradient tool. Let me show you how. Let me get rid of that shape first. So now the way to do it is by clicking the design and then going to document colors. And over here, click the plus sign, and I'm sure all of you are familiar with it. It's a solid color background. You can just click anywhere, choose a different color like so, and it's solid color. But as you can see, there's a new, well, a tab. Um, some of you may have, have had it for some time now, but anyway, those of you who are not familiar with it yet, you have a new tab here called Gradient. And when you click Gradient, it creates automatically a gradient background. And you can choose from different styles, like this one right here, it's like a more of a horizontal style. This one is more of a stacked on top of one another, two colors. And then this one is kind of like a, I don't know, angular gradient. This is focused in the center and then moving out in a circular way. And this is a reverse gradient. But anyway, you get the you get what I'm trying to say. And you can easily change colors over here. So you can choose a totally different color, maybe this one for your first color, and maybe something like this for your second color. And what's cool is that you can even add colors. So as you can see, you can add this, uh, add a new color by clicking this plus sign and maybe choose something like this. And you have like a three color gradient background and you can choose from the different styles to play around and see which one you like best. And if you want, you can go crazy and even add a fourth color. Although I wouldn't go too crazy with backgrounds unless you're trying to create the entire spectrum, rainbow spectrum, which is totally cool. Um, but be careful how many colors you're using because when you have a new feature, it's kind of, you know, it's tempting to go do a lot of different weird things. But, you know, remember that simplicity is often better in terms of um, designing. Um, so, yeah, um, that's it. And hopefully this will give you more options for your next designs. And like I said, this was going to be a relatively short tutorial, and I will see you again next time. Bye!